Revelations 2, 9 and 3, 9. Revelations 2, 9 states, I know your tribulations and your poverty, but you are rich. <clears throat> and I know the slander of those who say that they are Jews. Remember, J is only 500 years old. So I know of those who say that they are Hebrews, because that's what the scribes have wrote in the scrolls before the, even the Greeks put it in there, before it was translated. For those who say that they are Hebrews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. But you are rich. I know who they are, but you are rich. This analogy comes up because there was a time that Yeshua had fulfilled the promise and the needs of the one true Yahweh by passing up all of the temptations that Lucifer offered on pawn to him. And by doing so, the angels and Elijah and Moses came down, they talked to him, showed him what, what, what the secrets were, the mysteries, and what this was all about. Thus thou him throwing you parables, because a lot of people think, hey, if he wanted us to know this, he would have said it. If he wanted to know this color or what he looked like, he would have said it. No, if you give somebody a riddle, you don't sit down and say, you know, Jack, Jack and Jill, you know, went up a hill, you would say Jack and Jill, you know, excavated or, or some other terminology because a riddle is a riddle. You're supposed to figure out the clues within the riddle to get the answer. All right. If he wanted to give somebody the answer, then then, he, then they blatantly would. Do you go to school and do you take a test? Do you apply for a job? When they ask you things, they ask you side off things or give you a side off analyzation of something for you to come up with what you think it is, if that's going to be the right answer or not. It wouldn't be a mystery if you had the answer. That was the whole point. You were supposed to take all of the little clues and then piece them together. So being rich means you're rich in the word. You're rich in knowing, you know, who came to save these people and who had faith in these people and Yahweh as the one true God that thus thou become in one seed. So you're rich in the word, you're rich in spirit, you're rich with eternal life because of your works, faith, actions, thou shalt be saved by grace. Revelations 3, 9. Behold, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say that they are Hebrews and are not, but they lie. Behold, I will make them come by and bow down before your feet and they will learn that I have loved you now what is written in the word and those that have seen without time it if you go back to the official original um, writings it all said Hebrew or 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 Israelites or something like that they change it up and they put Jew to Jewish now the Lord Yahweh stated that if you change any word in there, take Yahweh out and put Odonai, Lord, and all this other stuff when it said Yahweh, then you will be condemned and lose your promise automatically. All right, so whoever changed it all up to Jews and Jewish, they have automatically lost their promise along with their lineage. Let's make that clear. So get that word, that's the whole trick in the spell and the perception that they give you is by putting different words in there and then you match that word up with that face and that analogy that came from that word actually came from that culture and race and nation of people so no matter how many times you read it unless you tell yourself and you read and don't read Jew or Jewish knowing that that's not the true words that was written in the scrolls then you're going to keep feeding that image in your head which links up to the spells the illusion and the perception that everybody is under today. Now, bow before you. There's going to come a time where God's going to gather all of his people. And then when the Messiah comes, everything is going to be straightened out. And these people are going to bow before you. We see so many times that people are having dreams. And they're having dreams where it's on the opposite feet. 
where everybody's living in this one kingdom and the, and they're being served by these people, all right? Or they're enslaved and some, you know, and all this other stuff, all right, is happening visions, dreams, and the whole nine yards. I've even left a clue on my videos with them talking to the spirits and they ask the spirits, and if you pay attention, it seems like only one half little group, one of the nations and races are allowed to talk to these, these demons. They're talking to the demons, and they said, have you seen Jesus Christ? The demons said, yes. And they all say it together in different voices, say, we have seen Father, and he won't help us. No, no, they say, Father won't help us. We have seen Jesus Christ, and we are his slave. So... This is all my thing. I threw the hint out there for you to listen to the voices and listen to what they're saying. It says, yes, we've seen Jesus Christ and Father won't help us and we are his slave. They're letting you know what's going on in the spiritual world. And it's all written right here. Unless you renew your mind and your conscience to come over. How did these people come about? Do you understand that the world has been in a spell a perception and an illusion for a very long time because Yeshua let everyone know if they come to you and they say anything about the Sabbath, anything about tradition, so on and so forth, all right, let them keep the tradition for I am the substance. See, with them, him knowing that they'll have the language and all the tradition down packed to the bone, that'll give everybody the perception and the illusion and be under a spell that they're the real people. Why? Because no matter how many times you read this, it seems like nobody concentrated on this. This was overlooked because if we had senators and world leaders that were about this and scholars, the first thing they would have did is said, no, these aren't the people. All right. Because they've known about DNA and all that stuff from the 30s and the 40s. So they would have known that. So if they let the people go in there and willingly knew that they weren't the people, that should let you know that this is a spiritual warfare that we're under and that we're going through right now to be tricked up like this. Now, if your world leaders and your spiritual leaders all right, knew and are reading and teaching you this stuff and are saying, listen, those are the people and they're still accepting them and they're going along with everything that's going on, that means they accepted that lie and that promise. Why? Because we all know that if you ask a Jewish person what they are, they're going to tell you blatantly that they're Israelis, they're Jewish, which we know it doesn't exist, that's the force that you were. We know that they are Ashkenazi. They tell you we are Ashkenazi. They wear the kippahs on their head to represent Ashkenazi Jews. Ashkenazi Jews came from Esau, Gomer, and, down to, and Gomer sons of Ashkenaz. The regions are all on the map because that's what those regions in Kazarian and all that other stuff in Russia and Magog was around. Now, since we know all that, nobody never seen this for hundreds of years. That means that the world is dumbfounded. And if you're under the spell and still don't see it and accept the truth, that means you're even more dumbfounded than anything else. Because this has been sitting in everybody's face for the longest and nobody's still seen it. And they'll tell you in various documentaries, we could throw signs and one and all this stuff and lie and the truth right in everybody's face. And they'll just think that that um, it's not true or they won't even see it. So with my point being said, we know who the people are. We know and you cannot believe in this, not believing that these people that are in these synagogues and there is no blacks, Hispanics, no other Gentiles that are Caucasian or anything like that that are going to synagogues. They're going to churches and, and and all this other stuff. They're not going to synagogues. So this is letting you know. And now that these people and, and, and the hoplo groups and the DNA has come out, they're blatantly even telling you still, hey, okay, we fooled the world. There's nothing you can do about it. So their times have been fulfilled because there's nothing you can do about a lie that they fooled the whole world with. And they're as you can see. Nobody is still going in Genesis 10 and, and chapter 10 and reading that they're Ashkenazi from Esau when Yeshua, Paul, John, and all the disciples before in Genesis and, 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 and all throughout the prophecies of the Old Testament stated for a fact that God 
had a closed ear and hated Esau. And that is a very harsh thing to say, but I didn't say it. The scripture said it. Why did he hate Esau? Because of the deception, the lies, the destruction, and everything else. And you cannot be Hebrew or a part of this religion and be keep to yourself, hog up money, hoard and store in the storehouse, don't want to have anything to do with anybody. That's not God. There's even prophets that are not written in here that you were supposed to go out. Enoch always came out and talked. Moses did the same. He took everybody out of Egypt that accepted the one true God, whether you're thus up Semitic or not. There was a whole thing that then that this that these people were supposed to the real Hebrews were supposed to do to teach nations, which I'm doing right now. So even and, and I would never ever blaspheme or bash my brothers the Israelites, but this is some of the stuff that they actually come for and they tell you guys straight up. Like these are the people. They might go a little bit far though. Everybody in the boat, all right, because they're a little upset. But every, you know, every ingredient in a, in a cake has its purpose. They have their purposes. And I will never bash them. They're my people. And that's against one of the biblical rules anyway. And when you're a part of us, I don't care know what, what race or tongue you are. But my whole point is that get Revelations 2 and 9 and 3 and 9. And understand what is going on in the world. How it's been fashioned. And get out of the spell that you're in.